Toriko chapter 366. Yo, I'm trying to keep my composure right now, and I feel like I'm going to freak out. But let me get into the important shit first. So after Geo, after Jiro transforms, uh, they bind him using some of the golden cookware, some golden rope, and they go into this spiel about how they are appetite monsters. And they mention something that... Well, they mention two things that's very important, I feel. One... They talk about how they, the Nitro specifically, just like every other, um, you know what, I ha I'm trying to keep my composure here so I can't really think, think straight. So, the Nitro are gourmet trolls. We have learned this already. But, there are various races to appetite monsters. The Nitro are trolls, but there are other races such as devils, ogres, and satans. Which kind of makes sense, but it's also weird at the same time. So you're telling me that Appetite has races? Really? That's... Is that, is that racist? Do I need to call Al Sharpton and... Really? Races. So there's the trolls, which are the Nitro. There's the, the demons... The, well, there's the devils, which I imagine is similar to Coco's Poison Devil. There's the Satan, Satan hair, and then there's the ogres, like, blue and red inside Toriko. So I'm also wondering, are there gourmet gods? Because what is the third demon that's inside Toriko? Because that's not an ogre. It's probably something else. It having wings clearly differentiates it from the others. So what is that? Like, is it a gourmet angel? Gourmet Dark Angel? I, I want to know. Also, these motherfuckers have a... These motherfuckers have a second golden can. How? Why have a second golden can if the purpose of the golden can in the first place was to seal Neo? What? 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 I don't understand it. It's it's such a weird thing, and it, it makes me remind me of what Gigi said that um there was a a monster hidden inside was sealed inside a can, a golden can. So is that the golden can where the monster sealed inside of? And why would you? It's so, it's such a weird thing. It throws off this the chapter so much for me. But beyond that, the fight between. Jiro and the Nitro, horrible, horrible slaughter. Slaughter fest beyond compare. Yo. Niggas should have bowed. Not even before he transformed. The mere fact that this nigga has a pompadour is just utter proof that he is an all-powerful god. Have you not seen the pompadour of destiny? The pompadour. Shall I show you to... JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4! The Pompadour is all powerful! Yo. He takes one of these Nitro, grabs it by the face, and shakes it so hard. Yo, shakes it so hard that several, I think all of its goddamn life orbs exploded. So it killed it multiple times over. It looked like it shook the... M moisture out of his 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 face like it's a fucking sundrico attack my god that's horrifying that's even worse than when bambina just flicked his finger and zebra's head spun around so many times it ripped off that's horrifying and then this other nitro i think it's another i think that's the name of the female one does this attack knocking breath I swear to God, it looked like he knocked her and her attack in midair by breathing. That, that's, that's some Heracles level shit. Like, yo, yo, Jiro, Jiro, yo. He hit her with a big bang. That bitch went stratosphere. At very least. At very least. Oh. And then he hits this one dude. 
he hits this one dude who actually is the first person to hurt him. So apparently, even though Jiro is in this 100% of my power unleashed, he is not immune to damage. He can still be hurt, which is a good sign. I hate it when a character is so ungodly all-powerful that they cannot be defeated. But besides Neo, I thought was going to defeat him. The Nitro could have defeated him if he wasn't this powerful. But Jesus, he hits that fool with a Guinness punch. He's... Next, the last one. I think his name is News. Stab Jiro in the back. This nigga Jiro. Yo. What? What? No. Yo, I called it. I called that he was going to do this. Temporal knocking. Yo, this nigga knocks time. <laughs> An ungodly hack. He just punched time. How do you punch a non-physical object? Like, it's not an object. It's not even energy. It's time. It's a fundamental force of the universe. Oh my god. Can Jiro knock the universe? Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. I'm terrified. <laughs> I am utterly, utterly terrified. Oh my god. Oh, he smacks this fool with some shit called eternal knocking. I imagine he knocked everything about this dude. He knocked his movements. He knocked his breathing. He knocked his mus. He knocked his his muscle structure. He knocked his his cellular reproduction. He probably even knocked his brain's neurotransmission. He knocked everything because that dude was stone statue. Not nothing. He turned pure white. Ridiculous. Ridiculously overpowered. But as he's about to take out Adam, Neo shows up. And here's what's weird about that. Well, there are three things weird about that. One, I'm not so sure if. Neo is in charge, or if Acacia is in charge. Clearly, Neo was fighting Don Slime. But now and again, Ac Acacia shows up and just starts talking, starts monologuing. He's like, Sashi Burina na Jiro. Yo. <laughs> like he's fucking Shanks. Yo. It's ridiculous. Um, I want to know how much control. Because if you think about it, when you eat Acacia's full course, one of the things that are, that's unlocked by eating God is the brain of the gourmet demon. So I'm wondering, if when you eat God, does your body get taken over by your gourmet demon? We've already seen this happen partially with Toriko, and that was before he even ate air. He only had an air fruit, but not the food king air. So I'm wondering... If by eating God, do you give up your free will to your gourmet demon? I want to know about that. Two, this is the first time Neo has attacked someone without eating them. When he was fighting Don Slime, he just ate him. He just ate his attacks. He ate the blows. He ate the sun. He ate him entirely. So why did, in case of Jiro, did he choose to attack him? Like, he's, he's cut off his head and sent his head fly. So, does that mean that Jiro right now is a bigger threat than Don Slime was? So, you're telling me Jiro, not King Master Jiro, is more powerful than someone who could create a small star that would eradicate the entirety of a planet the size of Uranus and almost Saturn? Really? Damn. That says a lot. That's terrifying. Also, Jiro is alive with his head way distance from his body. How? How? Uh, I demand explanations. This, like, I understand you're all pow you're fucking powerful, but bruh, your head's not on your body. What are you, Deadpool? Deadpool, the fuck are you doing in Japan? Why, why are you writing Toriko? The fuck is this? Yo, <laughs> yo, Wolverine, where the fuck you at? <laughs> Jiro is like, his head is severed and he's still talking. Also, I wonder if his body can move codependent of his um, head. Like, does it have to be connected to his head to move? Um, 
can he can wireless can control it or is his body going to move purely on impulse like is it going to sense that there's a danger around him a i.e neo and fight it or is it going to seek out its head and just put it back on also how the fuck are you just gonna put on back your head deadpool what are you doing like rate subscribe i'll see y'all for the next